In the wake of the recent upsurge cases in little-known respiratory virus called HMPV spreading in the U.S., Sri Lankan health authorities said they keep a close eye on the new developments of the virus and have gone on alert. Dr. Anwar Hamdani from the health ministry said the ministry has always been on alert on any new disease spreading in a foreign country as it could pose a threat to Sri Lanka. As far as the virus spreading in the U.S. is concerned, we are monitoring the situation, he said. Meanwhile, another official from the health ministry said, although it has not reached the alarming stage outside U.S., people should not panic. However, there is always a possibility of spreading it beyond borders as we witnessed in the COVID-19 pandemic. HMPV is similar to a bad cold. Like other viruses that cause upper and lower respiratory infections, HMPV spreads through respiratory droplets from coughing and sneezing. People may also transmit it through contact such as shaking hands. Research suggests that the virus can be passed along from an infected person even when they're not exhibiting any symptoms or asymptomatic. There's a rather significant asymptomatic spread. About 40% of people with human metanumovirus don't know they have it, and they may be spreading it. HMPV can also survive on surfaces for many hours, according to the Wisconsin Department of Health Services. That means individuals can become infected by touching contaminated surfaces and then touching their mouth, nose, or eyes. The virus causes symptoms similar to that of a cold, the flu, and COVID-19 like a lower lung infection, hacking cough, runny nose, sore throat and fever. Normally, young children and the elderly are the ones who end up with the most severe illness after contracting HMPV, as they are the most vulnerable to the virus. Their symptoms are treated directly by doctors in hospitals, as there's no vaccine or antiviral drug for HMPV. The HMPV virus is likely to spread from an infected person to others through close personal contact, such as coughing, sneezing, touching or shaking hands, and touching objects or surfaces that have the virus on them. The primary approach to prevention involves good hygiene, such as covering the mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing and frequent handwashing. Commenting on the disease, GMOA media spokesman Dr. Camille Wijensing told Daily Mirror that although the virus has not reached the emergency level, it is vital that Sri Lanka tightened its surveillance on entry points, i.e., airports and harbors to prevent any infected person from entering the country. The WHO has not yet declared it as emergency. Still, there is a spike in cases in the U.S. Nevertheless, it is better that Sri Lanka keeps a close eye to avert a devastating catastrophe like COVID-19 pandemic.